Hello, y'all. Welcome back to my channel and happy Easter to you all. Um, I am on here to share a quick project share of some Easter items that I made that I'm late sharing with you guys and then also a Dollar Tree haul. So before I get started, I'd like to uh, welcome all my new and my return subscribers to my channel. I appreciate you guys coming back to my channel and watching my videos and I hope that you're all having a pretty great day. So I'm going to go ahead and get started first. Let's say something real quickly, you guys. So I did haul this E6000 glue in my Hobby Lobby and Amazon haul, my last bit haul video. And I did not realize when I was hauling it and when I picked it up from Hobby Lobby, which was my main purpose of going in there, that I picked up the black. I didn't know they had black E6000. I didn't pay attention to any of this, you guys. Just grabbed it and kept, kept it pushing. So, yeah. So... There were several people that commented, was like, you know, you got the black, you know. I didn't know I had the black until after I did the video. And I was like, oh my God, like I just got the black E6000 and not the clear. So yes, I do know that I purchased the black instead of the clear. So I would not be using this on any projects that I can think of at the, at the time because this just won't work for me, you guys. And it, when I say it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's black. Yeah, so not what I wanted. So, yeah, so my husband may use it for something later on or whatnot. It'll come in handy for something. Okay, so getting into my project share. So, I have seen Miss Cooper, Miss Cooper's Coop. She has shared um, the wood pieces from the Dollar Tree that are shaped like the chick, the bunny, and the carrot. I did not find the bunny or the carrot, but I found the chicks. And I went on a hunt looking for the other two, and I could not find them. I've seen them over the years, you guys. Never, you know, would have thought what to do with them, really until I seen the video and I thought it was a perfect, perfect idea. So I did find the chicks. So I did decorate uh, the chicks here. So this is the first one. And so this is just old Easter paper that I had in my stash. I was not supposed to use the side of the paper, but when I traced it out and was putting it down, I realized that it was the wrong, I traced it on the wrong side. So I went ahead and used it. I didn't want to waste my paper. So I just outlined it with some Tim Holtz Distressed Ink and the orange. And then this is a Hobby Lobby flower with some little birdie flowers. And then I have the, um, oh my goodness, what is the name? You guys know what this is. Not Sorry Silk. Uh, oh my God, I can't think of the name of you guys, but you guys know. And then this is another Hobby Lobby flower. And then I have these right here, this bow that came from Alley that I have a whole bunch of different colors in a bag that I got uh, several years ago. And then I just put a little, black back pearl sticker for the eye and i think it turned out cute but it's not my favorite and then i also did use on this i used um this sparkle paste from little birdie and i use this to if you can see the shine i don't know if you can or not but i put it all over the uh, chick and then i also put it on the flowers to give it some sparkle and then i also did this one which i think is cute it's like my second favorite and so here it goes right here. So I just put some trim, some uh, lace trim and pink and then some uh, pearl trim here. And then a cluster of flowers from Little Birdie and then uh, Hobby Lobby. This one's from Hobby Lobby as well. The little bow and then the little flatback pearl sticker. Really cute. I don't know if you can see that shine you guys or not, but it's really pretty. And then, so these two are facing to the right. And then I did this one facing to the Blue strings everywhere. I did this one spacing to the left. And so again, we have some of that, uh, that rib trim with a cluster of flowers, another little flower, and then a little bow, and then a little flat back pearl for the eye. And then I like the print of this paper. It says, Happy Easter. So really cute. I don't know if you can see the shine or not, you guys, but it's really pretty in person. So those are those three. And then today, you guys, I was... I knew I had to get this done because I don't like, you know, telling people I'm going to enter something, especially when they invite me and I don't do it. And so, Poochie Tats here on YouTube and Instagram, um, I will leave her link in the description box down below. She actually invited me to join her Poochie Straws, Poochie, Ta Poochie Straw Challenge. I'm sorry. So, using any of your straws, I mean, well, using straws just to... Um, make, like make embellishments or, you know, anything crafty, but using straws. So because I had straws that I had just purchased from 
the 99 cent store that was just right there visible on my side i went ahead and used those so i made these cute little dangles right here and they're simple you guys nothing you know alex you know they're just simple dangles so i just used some of my beads and i cut the straw down to the size that i wanted it to be and then i also used some of the haishi uh spacer beads there and i just made these little dangles and i didn't really wire wrap them because um they were it was so small i didn't have enough space to wear a wrap so yeah so i made these so this was like a purple colorway with the teal you got the white with the pink and i think it'd be cute to like add something on here as well on the straw to give it something extra this is like a green one this one's a pink and white one this one is cute too i like this one and then we got the purple and the pink this is purple and white, green and white. This one has two pieces of the straw with the high, uh, spacer beads, you know, in between, and then the beads. And this one right here. This one and these three, well, these three right here. So yeah, so those are my little bead straw dangles that I made for the challenge. And then, you guys, I did create, uh, well, not create, but I did finally, and this has been made for quite some time, along with the chicks, but I did uh, finally use my camera, wood camera that I got from, a photo camera, what do you call it? Wood photo camera from the Dollar Tree. So, I did share this on my Instagram a couple weeks ago, but I just had never shared it here on YouTube. So, this is how it came out using the Doodle Bug Hibbity Hoppity uh collection and i love the way this turned out you guys so i did uh paint the whole camera i didn't do a real good job on the back but i did paint it just to kind of take away the color that it was um but i did use this um uh, apple barrel aqua sky uh, acrylic paint from walmart it was like 50 cents so i used that so um i also used some of the ephemera from the collection the bunny has popped up on some foam tape just for dimension. And then we got the sun and the cloud in the back. And then um, this right here is just two flat back gems glued together for the, uh, what is that, the flash? Yeah, or the button. And then I put some uh, bling right here for the trim. Um, let's see here. And then I got some of the sprinkles from the collection. I just put like the little carrots and the chick. And then a the little Easter egg. And then this infirm of the grass, I just kind of glued it at the bottom. But it's not glued at the top, if you can see. And then these are the flowers from um, Hobby Lobby. I still need to put some uh, sparkle on that to give it some shine. I did use some pom-pom trim around the frame of it. And then I also, for this right here, if you can see, it's kind of glittery. I used the sparkle paste and the Arctic shimmer for that. And then I made it as a shaker. And so the bunny in the background is another ephemera piece. And I think the paper that I use is the reverse side of this paper. And I just made some fun sequin mix and put that on the inside. And I think it turned out really, really cute, you guys. I love the way this turned out. So, yeah. So I have a couple more of these frames. I may just do one more. Um, and, yeah, I think more like mixed media probably style on the next one I do. I don't know for sure, but... I had a lot of fun creating this, you guys, and I love the way it turned out. So, yeah, so those are my project shares that I want to share with you guys. So, I'm just going to move this to the side. Okay, so now we're going to get into my Dollar Tree haul. So, you guys, so this haul is from, like, almost two weeks ago. And I just never came on to share it with you guys. But it was a, I, there's a store on my way home from work that i hardly ever go into i mean you know and i don't judge anybody but it's kind of like it's not the best of the store and then you got like you know people that like homeless people and just different types of people that hang around that store kind of ghetto in some sense okay let me just say it like that so yes yeah, so i don't go in there all the time but i do stop in there from time to time just to see what they have and so when i walked in and right at the front of the store on display they did have the bunnies so i did find the bunnies Yes, yeah, so I was very happy about that. So I'm going to gift one and then I'm going to keep one for myself. But I think they were super cute and they stand up on their own, if you can see. So yeah, so really cute little bunnies. 
So I got those. And then I did pick up these Jelly Spirals three pack. So I got these right here. Um, this is the blue, like a peachy pink and then a pink. And that's to make those, um, like those uh, hearts. You put the uh, wire inside and then you just form it to the shape that you want it to be. And so I got that one. Then I got this one, which is pink, the black and the, no, pink, gray and black. And then I also got this one, which is a teal, the blue and the yellow. So yeah, so they had those, so I got that. And then I also picked up this, um, this hourglass pen, you know, novelty pen. So I got that in pink, really cute just to add to my pen collection. And then I picked up this uh, paint palette. So yeah, so that's what I got from that trip when I went. Okay, and then I went to, I think it was last weekend. Yeah, last weekend I went to Dollar Tree. I didn't have a chance to go to Dollar Tree this weekend, you guys, because as I has mentioned in my Hobby Lobby video, um, that took forever to load up, you guys. I did that video on Friday night, and it was processing all night long. And so I just deleted it, and when I did it again, and within like 30 minutes, it it uploaded. I don't know what the deal was with that, but it, it had to be YouTube. So anyway, so then I did pick up, um, oh yeah, I picked up another one of those cameras and I'm going to give, you know, send that to someone that's looking for those. And then I did get the, uh, treat sacks and I know you guys, Easter's already over. I mean, today's Easter, but yeah, but you know, it's always next year. So I got these and I get two in a pack. And then I also picked up the little tape dispenser in purple. And that's just, you know, to give it in some happy mail. Because I don't really have purple in my room. So, but I just thought it was cute. So, I got this, the unicorn tape dispenser. And then I had seen a lot of people share this um, safe and healthy dis disinfecting UV light. And it's the As Seen on TV product. So, I did see that. So, I went ahead and picked it up. So, we're going to see how well this works. So, yes, I got that for a dollar. All right. And then um, I did finally find the yellow, uh, just Chanel yarn, because I couldn't find it, and I happened to find it. So, yeah, they had two, so I only got the one. I picked up some more straws because I love using these straws in my drinks. I did also purchase another of the Crafter Square cardstock in the pastel color. So you get these colors right here at the bottom. You get three sheets. It's not the best of car stock, but it's a nice car stock, you guys. So, yeah, in case you haven't seen it. And then I did pick up some more of the iridescent beads and the pink. And then I also got the light pink. So, I got those. And then I did find this um, pearl wrap. So I just got that, you know, to cut it and, you know, use it in crafting, of course. But it's some pearl wrap, four feet. And the last thing, you guys, that I picked up, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I found these stickers. So I did go ahead and get this 15 piece of these uh, pop-up stickers. And they've had stickers like this in the past, before. So this is the butterfly colorway. And then I got these with the feathers. And I don't know, these may be the same ones. I'm not for sure. I don't think they are, but they look similar or familiar to what I had picked up several years ago. Got those. And then this right here is a new one to me. It's 13 pieces. And it's a birthday theme one. So, yes, yeah, so I got those. And that, you guys, is the end of my haul. Oh, one more thing. I'm sorry. I almost forgot to show it. Because this is my second time doing this video again, you guys. But I had seen It's a Deal. She had shared from the children's place these uh, spirals. Spiral bands. So I'm just taking them out the bag here so I can show you. Okay. So she had hauled these from the children's place. So let me just move some of this stuff out the way. So I went on to the website and I found 
she has shared four different ones, but I found the three different ones. So yeah, so I got these and I thought they were really cute because I wanted something more fun in color besides the more bold colors that I got from Dollar Tree. And I know that Dollar Tree has some that look similar to these, but I just can't find them. So I got this from the children's place. Uh, like I said, thanks to It's a Deal because she has shared them. And so I, once I watched her video, I just went over to the website and I found them and they were on clearance for like for two something. Two dollars and some change, normally $6.95. So this one right here has the purple, the uh, light pink, the real pretty teal, and then the white, really pretty. So I got that one. And then this one has the gold, like a metallic. So gold metallic, pink metallic, the silver, and then the green. And then this one right here, which I think is so, so cute. So this one has the charms that come on it. The other one that I didn't find had charms too. So this has the Eiffel Tower, and then you got this little charm the ball charm with the little pink star confetti on the inside. Super cute. So you got the light pink, the white, the uh, like peachy pink, and then the pink. And it has like some gold or like the, like a metallic accent on them. Really pretty. So yeah, so got those. So thanks, It's a Deal, if you're watching this video for sharing these because these are so, so cute. And they're going to make a fun little dangle when I'm ready to make those... Uh, heart-shaped dangles that I've seen people make. So yeah, so that concludes my haul, you guys, uh, for Dollar Tree and my project share that I hope that you enjoyed. So I do want to thank you all so much for watching. You all have a great week ahead. You all be safe. Stay blessed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, you guys.